Can women experience changes in their sexual orientation over time? What is the relationship between self-esteem and sexual desire? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. Yes, some women may experience changes in their sexual orientation throughout life. Sexual orientation can be fluid, and it's important to recognize that each person has their own journey in this aspect. Self-esteem can influence sexual desire. Positive self-esteem can increase confidence and interest in intimacy, while low self-esteem can negatively impact sexual desire. The orgasm gap refers to the difference in orgasm frequency between men and women in heterosexual relationships. Open communication and equality in sexual satisfaction are key to closing this gap. Orgasm without ejaculation. Similar to men, some women can experience orgasms without the expulsion of fluids, like male ejaculation. This phenomenon is known as female ejaculation, or squirting. Orgasms during childbirth. In rare instances, some women experience orgasms during childbirth. This is due to the stimulation of certain nerves and is not something all women experience, but it is a curious and little-known phenomenon. Partner's role. The partner's attitude and response to premature ejaculation can influence how the problem is perceived and managed. Open communication and mutual support can be crucial in addressing the situation. PC muscle training. Pubococcygis, PC muscle exercises, can help some men improve their ability to control orgasm and experience more intense orgasms pelvic floor. Training. Both men and women can benefit from pelvic floor training to enhance the intensity and control of their orgasms. Exercises like Kegel exercises can strengthen the muscles involved in the sexual response. Personal style. How a man dresses and presents himself can be attractive to some women. Personal style can communicate creativity and self-expression. Physical exercise and erectile function. Regular physical activity and aerobic exercise can improve erectile function by enhancing cardiovascular health and increasing blood flow throughout the body, including the penis. Pleasure. Without penetration, penetration is not necessary for experiencing anal pleasure. External stimulation with fingers or toys can also be pleasurable. Point A. Similar to the G-spot, some women report the existence of an A-spot on the anterior wall of the rectum, which can be stimulated to induce intense orgasms. Pornography and mental health. Excessive pornography consumption may be related to mental health problems such as depression, anxiety, and erectile dysfunction, although causality is not always clear. Pornography in popular culture. Pornography has influenced popular culture in various ways, from music to film and fashion, permeating different aspects of contemporary society. Post-experience. After anal sex, some people may experience temporary sensitivity or discomfort. Resting and caring for the area can help alleviate any discomfort. Potential benefits. For some people, Open relationships can strengthen the emotional connection with their primary partner by allowing them to explore their sexuality together and share new experiences. Power role fantasies. Some people enjoy sexual fantasies involving power roles, such as boss employee, teacher student, or doctor patient. These fantasies can provide a safe way to explore consensual power exchange in a controlled environment Prevalence of sexually transmitted infections, STIs. STIs are common worldwide and can affect people of all ages and sexual orientations. Condom use and sexual education are important for prevention. Prevention and lifestyle. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle, including a balanced diet, regular exercise, avoiding smoking, and excessive alcohol consumption can help prevent erectile dysfunction and promote overall sexual health. Professional treatment. 
For those individuals experiencing distress or difficulties due to their fetishes, seeking professional help from sex therapists or psychologists can be beneficial. Therapy can help address underlying concerns and provide strategies for managing fetishes in a healthy way. Psychological impact. Individuals diagnosed with an STD may experience emotional distress, anxiety, depression, and social stigma, highlighting the importance of a holistic approach to medical care and psychological support. Psychology behind fantasies. Sexual fantasies can play an important role in arousal and sexual satisfaction. They can help explore desires, experiment with roles and scenarios, and enrich a person's sexual life. Refractory period. In contrast to women, most men experience a refractory period after orgasm, during which they cannot reach another orgasm or erection. The duration of this period can vary significantly among men. Regulation and censorship. Pornography faces regulations and censorship in many countries, with laws varying widely regarding what is considered obscene material and the limits of freedom of expression. Relationship. Between sex and sleep, sex can have benefits for sleep onset, as the release of endorphins and relaxation experienced during orgasm can help induce a state of drowsiness. Relaxing effects. Orgasms release endorphins, acting as natural painkillers, which can help reduce pain, alleviate stress, and improve mood. This explains why many people feel relaxed and happy after an orgasm. Respect and consent. It is essential to respect boundaries and obtain consent from the partner during foreplay. Women should feel safe and comfortable at all times and have the freedom to stop or change the activity if they wish. Risk factors. Some factors, such as engaging in unprotected sexual intercourse, having multiple sexual partners, using intravenous drugs, and having a history of previous STDs, can increase the risk of contracting an STD. Robot fetishism. With the advancement of technology, some people experience sexual attraction to robots or artificial intelligences, known as robot fetishism. Role of pheromones. Pheromones, chemicals released by the body, are believed to influence sexual attraction and reproductive behavior in humans, although their exact impact is still a subject of scientific debate. In Middle Eastern countries like Qatar and Saudi Arabia, sex education is usually limited and based on Islamic values, with a focus on modesty and sexual morality according to religious interpretation. Self-help. Techniques. In addition to medical treatments, there are self-help techniques that can help men manage erectile dysfunction, such as masturbation to maintain erectile function and the use of penis rings to maintain erection. Sense of humor. A good sense of humor can be very attractive to many women. The ability to make someone laugh is often considered a desirable quality. Sensual aromatherapy. Using essential oils with aphrodisiac scents, such as lavender, vanilla, or jasmine, during foreplay can stimulate the senses and increase the feeling of relaxation and well-being. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.